And I've never seen a more tense box when we've got a guest on to see who was going to go down boundary side to interview him. Was it going to be Dale Thomas, his former premiership teammate? Or was it going to be Jay Clark, who <laughs> might have been charged with stalking Scotty Penderbury <laughs> at some stage? But uh, our man Daisy said, I am going to do it. I won a premiership with him. I should have been the Norm Smith medalist, and he's with Pendles now. Yeah, I certainly am, gents, down here with the 367 gamer, Scotty Penderbury. Uh, great to be alongside you. Are you happy that Jay-Z did just stick out and stay 150 <laughs> metres away from you like he has through that court order? Yeah, it's, the restraining order allows that, so I'm uh, nice and happy. But, yeah, it's great to see you, mate, and, um, yeah, very excited to be here today for this game and um, Steel's 300th and, and Coxie's 100th. Hey, Pendles, uh, how's the mood at the footy club? Obviously, it's going really nice there. And what about yourself just not being captain this year? Has it been a bit different for you this season? Yeah, it has been um, a lot different for me. I suppose less sort of meetings and having to deal with any um, people that muck up and things like that. So it's sort of just being out of the back end and more just um, being able to go about my business, freed up my time a little bit, which has been enjoyable. And, um, yeah, the club's in a good space at the moment. We're playing some good footy and, you know, hopefully we can replicate that again today against North. How's the eyeball management, uh, Scotty? So can you tell us you got your eyeball squished and then you missed a game, you had stitches. I'm not sure, was it in your eyeball or in your sort of uh, eye area? And what's the uh, maintenance been like since? So what have you had to do to it since every day? Yeah. Is that the end of the question? Or... <laughs> yeah, no, mate. Yes. Oh, I don't, mate. No, no, no. He's good. a long question uh, asker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've heard that. Um, yeah, so I actually, I actually had my last drops yesterday. So I was on drops for a month. I had surgery on my eyeball. I had to go in and put four stitches on the eyeball. So it's not great when you can't get knocked out for that. So you're sitting there when they stick a needle in and stuff like that. So. Ooh. How Probably do you, how one do you sleep? The, what? Uh, on my back, usually. That's how I sleep. Um, <laughs> oh, right, yeah. No. yeah, it's a bit of a weird question too, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. That's what the court orders there for. <laughs> no, but if you got if you got stitches in your eyeball, is it does it was it annoying to blink or sleep? Um, shut your no. eyes. Jay, can you shut up? <laughs> uh, anyone else got hey, one I've on got their voice? I've got a question. So we know how good Steel Side Bottom has been. His career, 300 games today. Mm. Really interested in knowing. Um, what his wedding was like, because you were obviously on the guest list. Mm. Yeah, his wedding was, um, oh, yes, I know where we're alluding to here. Yeah, his wedding was um, fantastic, and, um, yeah, it was great to see a lot of my ex-teammates there that played in the flag with him. There was a couple that didn't get there. Um, how's how's sure your why? theory on that? Why wasn't Dale Thomas invited to the wedding? Uh, I'm not too sure. You'll have to ask Daisy himself. What's he said along the way? Mm. He doesn't know. He, he thinks Probably he's had a points bet commitment on or something. <laughs> well, take it away, Daisy. I don't have much more for you, Scoop, but uh, one of them I do have for you is you're encroaching on to potentially, if you get 60-odd more games to break the all-times record, how is the body? Do you think you're a chance to get there? Oh, I haven't thought that far. <laughs> um, but, yeah, my body's pulling out really well. Probably 18 was the hardest year I've had um, with my body. Just my back was no good and thought it might have been curtains, but, um, yeah, I've been able to manage that really well the last few years, and I feel like I'm contributing to a side that's um, playing good football. So while I'm still doing that, I'd like to keep going. You've had a couple of coaches along the journey. Talk to us about Fly and just the differences he brings from a Michael Malthouse and a Nathan Buckley and just the environment you've got down there at the moment. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I suppose I've learned something from Mick, Bucks um, and then Fly and it's been incredible over three stages of my career to, to have such great coaches. And yeah, he sort of takes the, um, I don't know, he just takes the mickey a lot and has a lot of fun. and. Uh, you know, everyone sort of looks forward to the, the 205 team meeting we have today because we don't know what's coming and, you know, there's birthday cakes, there's party poppers, it's just all sorts of random stuff can happen that no one has an idea about. So it's been a lot of fun and um, I think he's got the group in a really good spot and we're playing really good footy. Yeah, you know, enough we... about you, Scott. Now, what about us? You're an avid fan of the Sunday rub. You've been hearing about the initiatives we've had with the Sunday supper and Steve Johnson last week uh, confused your assistant coach there for a Carlton <laughs> assistant coach. Do you feel as if, you know, you listen a lot, that we're off the rails, do you feel like we've bounced back since losing Ross? Just give us some feedback on how we're travelling. Oh, it's a very funny program. Coming up here, I said I was doing Triple M and Darcy Cameron sort of sat back in his seat because I seen what he did a few weeks ago when he was <laughs> talking about Isaac Cranor's rig and then Scotty Sowood said something about Steve Johnson asking me about Carlton players and he's a coach of Collingwood. So <laughs> I think you are off the rails a bit, but that's why everyone likes listening to you. So I'm enjoying that. Who had the Sunday supper today? 
Joey. Don't talk Joey. about it, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Scotty, we had Sunday supper, yeah. 25 dumplings between nine meals. <laughs> yeah, Rash, it's like entree. Sunday Maybe he's entree. trying to say something to you all that year. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we, we've got that feedback, but we're also very hungry boys, so <laughs> that's piss poor, isn't it? Hey, Pendles, the other thing for your prep, did you get to see the end of the basketball on a different note? Did you see what happened between yeah. Boss and Miami? I sat in the car until it finished, because you've not had your phones once you get in here. So I sat in the car. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? Amazing finish. Um, and then now, surely Boston have to win now in seven. So they will now, won't I, they? I really hope so. But what an unbelievable um, game. And, um, yeah, game seven, nothing better than, than game seven back on your home deck for Boston. And you played a bit of basketball too, didn't you? <laughs> I, I did, Stevie. Thanks for that. That's, Steve. that's almost some of your best work. <laughs> hey, Harry Taylor likes his cognac. Yeah. Hey, Scotty, is... Um, now, Daisy, your team, your former premiership teammate, they kicked five yesterday. Has he told you about how we kicked five yesterday? No, nah, not yet. Um, what an effort. What was it in Vaffa? I heard you talking about Vaffa 2s, was it? It's something you got to look forward to, Pendles. Yeah, he's a man of the people, Daisy, though. I've heard him. He's helping everyone out, goes, kick five. He said he had a great sporties function after it that he didn't let too many people know about. So it's good that he's lying in his pockets as well. Don't worry about that. Stevie J's rocked up with 12 and a half grand today. Um, <laughs> hey, mate, we'll let you go. All the very best today. Thanks very much for your time and all the best for hopefully what will be. I know we're talking three years' time, but a game's record. Well done, buddy. Cheers. Thanks, guys.